Stephen, great to catch up with you here uh, in Germany at Knuff. You have just purchased one of these flatbed manual lathes that we've got behind us. Before we talk about that acquisition, tell us about your company who you and who you work for. Okay, well, I work for a company called James Walker and Company. Uh, they're based uh, in Cockermouth. However, that's just the one site. Um, we're, we're also uh, in various parts around the world. Um, most uh, in the new new areas for us is, is uh, South America, Brazil, but we're in the States, all around Europe. It's a very well established business. What do you actually do? What do you make? We make high performance sealing applications. Um, now that talking about that, that is for for the nuclear industry, oil and gas, uh, military. Uh, not much in the automotive zone. We we make specialist. Um, types of seals, really for uh, down oil wells, etc. Um, and, and what brings you here then to Germany with this machine? It is a recent purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to find out in a minute why you actually selected this, but you've come to actually see the machine in the flesh. Yeah, yeah. The, the reason being, um, we have two mach two manual machines in the tool room, which are old English uh, machines, uh, and essentially now they're from the they're the vintage 1960s. Uh, however, they now don't do what they should do, uh, essentially turn accurately. So what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do, which I have done, is, is, is bought a machine which will replace those two old machines. Uh, and this will be obviously a new machine and it, it, you know, it should do what it, what it says on the box. Uh, now the model we've got behind us here is, is yeah. uh, in terms of the swing of this machine, it's identical to what you've purchased, but the bed length is slightly shorter, isn't it? Yeah. Um, have you been impressed with what you've seen here today? Because we've seen a nice cutting demo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it seems to be you know, substantial enough. Uh, I don't think we'll wear that out in my lifetime. Um, it, we don't need the, the four meter length as we, as we see behind us. Uh, we just need the one and a half meter um, because at the, at the depth, the depth of uh, the work pieces are only up to about 100 millimeters, but we need the swing of up to 1.3 meters. Uh, why this machine though, Steve, technically? I know you did a search on the internet, didn't you, to, to, mm. to try and find a solution, because you actually struggled, which seems crazy really when we're talking about such a, yes. call it simple machine tool. It's exactly it. I mean, everybody now is uh, CNC orientated, or, and we are, we, are, we are also that way. But I, need, uh, I needed a machine, essentially, that would, w we could modify moulds and repair moulds in the tool room um, on, a manual, uh, on a manual setup. So it needs a skill a skilled guy, obviously a tool maker or a machinist to do that job. Um, and I saw a lot of you guys walking around with tape rules and measurements. Yeah. What do you like about the actual machine and, and what were the considerations in the, uh, in the investment? Well, it, it, had to, it had to have the biggest turning capacity that we generally would need, which would be about 1.3 metres. Um, it, it also had to uh, essentially be new machine. Now, we came to Knut because we couldn't basically source a British machine. Uh, they are now defunct one way or the other. Um, so an internet search found eventually Knut um, and I and then... Obviously available through DTS in the UK. That's been part of this. They've, they've accompanied you here. Mm -hmm. um, do, do you think this is going to be a good range of products for them? I think so, yes. Um, what, I like, what I like about this, this site is it is basically a one-stop shop. It's like a supermarket. If you were setting out a tool room now or a workshop with a limited, a limited funds, um, you, could, you could certainly go around with your basket and, and you could set out and, and, and fill, fill a machine shop. Yeah, even in here, we're obviously talking about a big, big uh, lathe here, but there's vertical borers, there's moving column machines, five axis, band saws, wire EDM. Uh, where does it stop? Um, it stops really. I personally feel you could you could get whatever you wanted. And the good thing about Knut is they will modify and customise the machine to whatever specific um, capacity or needs that you had. You know, uh, which is which is good. And, and also the, the great thing about this affordability. Uh, you, you told me uh, what you invested in this, and I was actually very very surprised mm. at the price. But also the fact that it's going to be in your machine shop within about four to six weeks. Yeah, we believe so. We're standing here now nearly into December and we, are, we expect that to be in, in January in our, in our workshop and running. Um, 
other highlights from you here for this tour? I know we've only been here two days, and don't tell me last night, because I know that was a highlight, <laughs> but we won't go into detail on that. No, no. Are other machines that you've seen here that you, you may actually think about investing in yourselves as a business going forward? There is, yes. Um, there was, there's one or two. One that really stands out for us is a, a bandsaw, a horizontal bandsaw, like a double column. We have one at, at work uh, now, uh, currently it's on our site, but it's, it's showing its age now and it hasn't got the capacity that we need. Uh, we needed one that will do 600 diameter uh, plus, which they can supply one. Uh, again, we're just waiting for the right price. But um, well, I can see he's got his pencil sharpener out over there, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. know it might be the opportunity. Um, a fascinating story here. We've been here at uh, Knuff as well for two days. All of the machines that we've spoken to Steve about are available through DTS in the UK. Uh, if you're after a big lathe like we've got behind us in the background, uh, this is certainly a place to visit. Thank you very much, Steve. No, you, thank you very much.